one of the hardest things with a project like this is how do you respond to the site? Um, there weren't any obvious constraints and part of the initial uh, site analysis was actually how to anchor a much larger building because the client wanted a, a live-work uh, arrangement for their home. They're both artists. How do you anchor that onto a site? And that's where the initial concept of this inside-outside house came about. We, we in fact used the existing buildings or the footprints and the shapes of the existing buildings as guiding principles for the development and for the organisation of the new house, including the driveway entrance in which split the house into two parts. On the northern side we had the artist studios and on the southern side taking in beautiful views as well, straight down the Y Valley towards the Seven Bridge, we had the living accommodation. When we carried out the site analysis we ended up really with three existing buildings. We had the house itself, we had the garage and we had an outbuilding. And then in the arrangement of the house as it evolved, we also created another courtyard. And what we did was we took the roofs off the existing buildings, just leaving their perimeter walls, stripped them right back. And then brought the, because it's a sloping site, the, the rear, the northern uh, side is a, is a higher meadow. We scooped that meadow down over the existing buildings and then cored out, cut out the roof effectively to make the inside of the original buildings outside spaces. We then wrapped all of those buildings in glass and insulated wall um, to to, to make the, the old properties inside the new house, but the inside of the old house is an outside space, hence inside outside. We then created the fourth courtyard ourselves. It was convenient and right for the planning to do so. And it met the client's brief, where the one courtyard space, they really wanted to have a barbecue, so that was the fire courtyard. Another one, they wanted a lawn and a tree, so we had earth. The other one was the um, naturally ventilated larder, so that was air. And the third one, which was the original garage, we filled with water, so we had earth, air, fire and water. And for a, a sustainable, environmentally sensitive house, that was so, so appropriate. It, it, it was artist and architect working closely together in a very harmonious and very positive way. It was wonderful.